Ukraine Television. I'm Yasmin Anand. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 6 for this year, endorsing the Aviation Services Agreement signed in Manama on the 9th of March 2015 between the Kingdom of Bahrain's government and the government of Cyprus Republic. His Majesty also issued Law 7 for this year, endorsing Dual Taxation Avoidance Agreement for Income Tax signed in Manama on the 9th of March 2015 between the Kingdom of Bahrain's government and the government of Cyprus Republic. The Prime Minister and each one of the government ministers according to this domain will implement this law effective from the next day following the date of its publishing on the official Gazette. His Majesty the King, in presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and Governor of Mecca region, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid Al Faisal, and Chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies, His Royal Highness Prince Turki Al Faisal. They are in Bahrain to participate in the official opening ceremony of His Royal Highness Prince Saud Al Faisal Avenue. Prince Khaled Al Faisal conveyed greetings from the custodian of the two holy mosques and wishes of continued progress to Bahrain. His Majesty the King asked the Saudi Prince to convey greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and wishes continued progress to Saudi Arabia. He underlined the deep rooted relations between the two countries in various fields and exchanged with the audience talks on Arab and Islamic issues. Later, His Majesty the King hosted a dinner in honor of Prince Khaled Al Faisal and Prince Turki Al Faisal.
His Majesty the King received a written message from the custodian of the two holy mosques inviting him to attend the final military exercise, the North Thunder, in Hafer al Barton in Saudi Arabia. The message was conveyed by the Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah al Sheikh, during a meeting at Rauda Palace yesterday evening. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, which underlines the deep rooted relations between the two countries and the joint military cooperation between them. He also underlined the historic role of the Saudi monarch to confront challenges facing security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Gudaibiya Palace the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca region and the chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies who are on a visit to Bahrain to attend the inauguration of a main avenue in Manama named after the late His Royal Highness Prince Saud Al Faisal. His Royal Highness asserted that the late Prince Saud Al Faisal succeeded in changing world policies and was able, thanks to the directives of Saudi kings and leaders, to strengthen GCC decisions in the global arena. He recalled with deep pride, appreciation and gratitude to Saudi Arabia's honorable supportive stances towards Bahrain and its people, stressing that Saudi Arabia, under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, is the protective shield of the Arab and Islamic nations, citing its historic stances in supporting the right, justice and the Arab nation's dignity and sovereignty. The Prime Minister affirmed that the late Prince Saud Al Faisal had followed in the footsteps of Al Saud leaders regarding their historic and honorable stances towards Bahrain. He asserted that Bahrain had named one of its main avenues after the late prince in recognition of his brotherly stances and as a token of gratitude to him, stressing that the late Prince Saud enjoyed a distinguished status in the hearts of the Bahraini leaders and people. The meeting also included ways to further bolster bilateral relations and the Prime Minister expressed satisfaction of the advanced level of joint cooperation and coordination on all levels between both countries. The advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques affirmed that Bahrain's honoring of the late Prince Saud Al Faisal reflects the depth of bilateral relations as well as the noble stances of Bahrain's leadership and people. He thanked the Premier and the Bahraini leadership and people for the gracious welcome and hospitality accorded to them, which he said proves the strength of the strong relations and ties between the two countries. Prince Khaled Al Faisal lauded the development and progress of Bahrain in various fields, wishing Bahrain further success, security, and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister inaugurated today His Royal Highness Prince Saud Al Faisal Avenue at Jufair as uh, to follow the directives of His Majesty the King during his reception of the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca region and the chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies Center in the attendance of senior state officials, ministers, members of the Representative Council and Diplomatic Corps, as well as press and media personnel. The Prime Minister hailed the honorable stances of the late Prince Saud Al Faisal, Saud in defense 
defending his country's and Arab nations' causes. He affirmed that the people of Bahrain will never forget the supportive stances of Prince Saud al Faisal towards Bahrain regarding maintaining its security and stability. He said that naming the avenue comes in recognition for the remarkable efforts and honorable stances of Prince Saud al Faisal towards the kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that the remarkable efforts of Prince Saud al Faisal reflect Saudi Arabia's leadership keenness to support brotherly countries in all circumstances. He also hailed the brotherly consolidated ties between His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques, which reflect the outstanding relations between the two countries' peoples. He affirmed Saudi Arabia's efforts regarding supporting all Arab and Islamic countries and recalled the honorable stances of Saudi Arabia regarding maintaining Bahrain's security and stability, which is highly appreciated by the people of of Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. He then wished Saudi Arabia further progress under its wise leadership and for his part the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa expressed pride in the inauguration of the avenue which comes in recognition for Prince Saud Al Faisal's numerous efforts and sacrifices in defending Arab and Islamic causes. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, hails such initiative, which reflects Bahrain's appreciation for the late prince. He also hailed the significant efforts of Prince Saud Al Faisal in developing Saudi Arabia and Arab diplomacy and recalled his honorable supportive stances towards Bahrain in order to maintain its security and stability. And the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Aysam Khalaf, hailed this initiative, which reflects Prince Saud Al Faisal's honorable stances towards supporting Arab and Islamic causes. إنه لشرف عظيم بحضوركم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر أن نشهد أمر سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بإطلاق اسم المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سعود الفيصل بن عبد العزيز آل سعود على أحد أهم شوارع العاصمة المنامة في مبادرة تجسد بجلاء وفاء مملكة البحرين ملكا وحكومة وشعبا للراحل العظيم وتنطق بكل صدق ووضوح بما للفقيد الغالي من مكانة خاصة في قلوب أهل البحرين جميعا ولم لا وهو الذي خدم بكل إخلاص وبمنتهى العزم والقوة بلاده ودول الخليج والأمة العربية والإسلامية بل والعالم أجمع لقد حمل رحمه الله دبلوماسية المملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة طوال أربعين عاما تاركا خلفه صرحا ضخما وآثار رحلة طويلة قضاها في رسم سياسة بلاده الخارجية كما كان علامة فارقة في تاريخ الدبلوماسية العربية وفي التصدي لمختلف الأزمات التي واجهتها الدول العربية والإسلامية بحكمة مشهودة ومواقف حاسمة فخلدته في ذاكرة الأمة كأحد أبرز رجالها على مر العصور ولسمو الأمير سعود الفيصل طيب الله ثراه مواقف تاريخية داعمة لمملكة البحرين وتطورها وأمنها واستقرارها في أحسن وأصعب الظروف وفي أدق الأوضاع حيث جاب سموه العالم من أجل الدفاع عن البحرين في مواقف سيسجلها التاريخ في صفحاته الناصعة كشاهد على عمق كشاهد على عمق وقوة العلاقات بين مملكة البحرين وشقيقتها الكبرى المملكة العربية السعودية وستظل هذه الجهود الضخمة 
والمواقف الخالدة باقية في قلوبنا وحاضرة في ذاكرتنا الوطنية وستبقى دوما محل فخر واعتزاز وعرفان من قبل أبناء البحرين جيلا بعد جيل لبصماتها الجلية في حياتنا وفي تاريخ وطننا لقد كان رحمه الله مدرسة متفردة تجمع بين جنباتها الأخلاق العالية والعلم الواسع والدبلوماسية الحكيمة فكان مثالا للعمل بكفاءة لا مثيل لها ونبل لا نظير له مع امتلاكه الجرأة والحكمة والمنطق والحجة التي جعلت صوته مسموعا ورأيه صائبا وموقفه سديدا وها هي مملكة البحرين تخلد الذكرى العطرة والسيرة الطيبة للمغفور له بإذن الله تعالى الأمير سعود الفيصل على أرضها بتسمية أحد أهم شوارع العاصمة باسمه كما فعلت في العام 1976 بتسمية أحد أكثر شوارعها أهمية وحيوية ولا يزال باسم والده الراحل المغفور له الملك فيصل بن عبد العزيز آل سعود طيب الله ثراه ولا يسعنا في هذا المقام إلا أن ندعو الله جلت قدرته أن يتغمدهم بواسع رحمته ورضوانه وعظيم عفوه وأن يسكنهم فسيح جناته إنه سميع مجيب والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, held a lunch banquet in honor of the advisor to the custodian of the two Heli mosques and governor of Mecca region, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid al-Faisal, and the chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies Center, His Royal Highness Prince Turki al-Faisal, which was attended by a number of ministers and state officials.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca region, Prince Khalid Al Faisal, and the chairman of the King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies, Prince Turki Al Faisal. The Crown Prince confirmed their visit is dear to the people of the two countries to take part in launching one of Bahrain's main streets under the name of late Prince Saud Al Faisal, following the directives of His Majesty the King in his memory and in appreciation for his historic stances towards Bahrain. He expressed pride in deep-rooted bilateral relations, which keep growing stronger in the face of different challenges threatening the region, in line with the unity of goal and shared destiny. He highlighted the pioneering role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, and the kingdom's leading initiatives to enhance joint coordination to overcome all challenges and reinforce peace and development, as well as to combat terrorism and deviation of thought. The Crown Prince asked the Kingdom's guests to convey his greetings to the Saudi leadership and wish Saudi Arabia's people further progress. And for their part, the Royal Highnesses expressed appreciation to the Crown Prince for his constant keenness to consolidate bilateral relations and cooperation. They also commended His Royal Highness' noble sentiments in recalling the memory of the late Prince and thanked Bahrain for naming one of the main streets under his name. Later in the day, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Suwaf, advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca region and the chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies upon their departure from the kingdom. Prince Khalid Al Faisal thanked His Majesty the King and the kingdom's government for their brotherly sentiments towards the late Prince Saud Al Faisal. Attendees were the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Saudi Arabia's ambassador to Bahrain, Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the governor of Muharraq, Governor Salman bin Isa bin Hindi, and a number of officials. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work, Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Ambassador of the UK to the Kingdom, Mr. Simon Martin. His Highness wished the Ambassador success in his diplomatic duties and cited the strong historic strategic ties which constantly increase momentum in view of mutual visits, coordination and cooperation in all fields. He also praised the Ambassador's efforts in bolstering the cooperation between both friendly countries. The ambassador expressed appreciation of the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in boosting the level of bilateral ties and commended the support accorded to him from all Bahraini officials. And now we turn to sports news with you, Fatima. Thank you, Asmina.
A very good evening. You're watching the Sports News on Bahrain Television. Bahrain's 13th and Middle East seated professional MMA fighter Hamza al Kohiji from the high, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts KHK MMA team will challenge the Saudi professional MMA fighter Abdul Aziz Jaydan tomorrow in Jeddah City in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the title of Desert 422 and the Championships Trophy. Al Kohiji praised the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and the founder of the KHK MMA organization, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa, citing His Highness's directions, support, encouragement and contribution to the Kingdom of Bahrain in becoming one of the advanced countries in the field of this world-class game, and His Highness's and his team's presence and participation in numerous international championships. 